Christmas. We should celebrate Gaia. Gaia is for guys and dolls. And when I'm president, I'm going to make sure that Christmas is no longer celebrated as the commercial holiday it's become. I'm not going to do that one. There's another story I was going to get. Am I out of time already in the segment? Another stop set? Yeah, I am doing okay. I can feel the flow going. Eight eight five five four. Are you listening to the show today? Is anyone listening to the show? I got eleven lights, nine, ten of lights, nine are lit, nine are calling already on the uranium in Iran. Sanders support liberal Jews, millennials, millennials, and I know I'm not really. I don't talk about any of those topics. How do you like that? I'll probably go off on another tangent soon. But before I do, I will play rock and roll today. It's like a Blue Monday out here because, oh, I didn't play Blue Monday even though it's Monday. I woke up to a mist after a heat wave that could kill a bug, a heat wave that killed amphibians and reptiles in the Bay Area with a fire raging out of control in Lake County. Everyone's saying, who cares? As long as it doesn't come into Sonoma Marin, we're okay. I mean, to Southern Sonoma Marin. As long as it doesn't touch Mill Valley, I don't care. It's burning. I, it's only 5% contained. What are you going to do on a forest fire? God's God's will, believe me. He wanted the lake. He wanted the trailers burned. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. The American people, in my strong view, are sick and tired of establishment politics, of establishment economics. And they want a candidate who is prepared to stand up to the big money interest, Wall Street, corporate America, that exerts so much power over our legislation. I'm going to use this rehearsal. i got to get Bernie Sanders' voice. It's easy, though. Typical commie professor, never ran a, uh, could not sell a tire in a tire store after a revolution. But he's an expert in economics. If I'm elected, I'll make sure, I'll make sure that there's pot in every chicken. Not only will there be a chicken in every pot, but when I'm president, I guarantee the government will put pot into every chicken. There'll be not only no draft, there'll be no military under my presidency. We don't need a military. Moreover, when I'm president, the cops will have no guns. And, and those cops who do remain... They're going to report to Al Sharpton, one of the best men in the world. That's the kind of can. Go, Bernie, go. Go, Bernie, go. I want to see him rise in the Democrat polls. If he really poses a threat to Hillary, I guarantee you there's a polonium bagel in his future. That's all I can say. Oh, yeah, if he really was a threat to the Hillary machine, the Clinton machine, polonium bagel or a polonium knish on the campaign trail, a sudden H.A. job on, on the stage. We look like Latin America. He's not going to get anywhere. They're not going to let him get anywhere. Don't be stupid. He's like a, he's like a, it's like a circus. They got him out of the freak show in the back of the circus and put him in the center ring before the show. That's who he is. All right, the show hasn't started yet. It's 2016. Who do we get? Okay, bring him out. Bring out the, the clowns. No, I don't want a clown. No one laughs at clowns anymore. Bring out the craziest Marxist professor you could find. There he is, Bernie Sanders, as you're waiting for the election to begin. There he is. When one president... You'll be potting every chicken. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE-SAVAGE. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Blue Monday, how I hear Blue Monday. Got to work, lack of sleep all day. He'll come to. Let me tell you this, in my strong view, the Republicans did not win last November. The Democrats lost 
because a lot of their supporters are demoralized, not coming out to vote, working people, young people. I think we can strike an excitement in those groups of people. When I'm Increased elected voter president, turnout, not only will I'll make White sure House, that marijuana is delivered to everyone's door in the morning by the government. I make sure taxes on the rich are 140 percent. I make sure that only black lives matter. When I am president, I will make everything right that is wrong. I am Bernie Sanders, and I will be your next president. Also, when I'm president, I will make sure that God answers to me for the low amount of water in California caused directly by the white rich because they exploited the Indians and took away the water. The state is suffering violently from it, although I don't believe in morality. I do believe in punishment. And that's something that I and my Marxist friends will make certain there is plenty of. Welcome to the Savage Nation. I'm just rehearsing for the, for the Bernie Sanders lookalike contest. This guy's fun. I hope. Go, Bernie, go. I want him to, I want him to be the candidate against Trump. I want to see an 85% blowout so they could say the reason that he lost is because they didn't turn out. Ah, oh, schmuck. And the Republicans won. And Republicans won even though the base didn't turn out, by the way. He's got it reversed, of course, because liberalism is a mental disorder. Bernie's an example of someone who should be on medication. Well, he's on medication, obviously. In my opinion, he should be on a severe Thorazine in a bug house, acting out the role of an actual legitimate politician. This reminds me of the Peter Sellers movie of 30 years ago where they take an ordinary gardener and they turn him into a president and he's absolutely unqualified for the job. Sort of like Odumbo, but uh, a, little, a little more extreme in this case. I don't know if Obama's there, but this guy is unbelievable to me. On where would he come from? Not a lot of other stories. So I ask you, do you support Bernie Sanders socialist and why? You know, he's a retrovirus. He's, a, he's, a, he's another retrovirus. He's not only a carrier of the Marxist virus, but he's actually an infection himself. And uh, well, there's other topics, the Jewish New Year. I was going to ask you, will Israel survive another 25 years, given that the Democrat Party has turned on Israel? That was their large, the greatest support was the Democrats. Now they've turned on them. Look at Dianne Feinstein. That she smells a buck, she turned on Israel. I can't prove it. You know it's just a joke. You know she's above board. She's one of the cleanest, f fairest senators in history, just because she's on the Senate, uh, I think, intelligence. I don't know what she's on, one of the top committee. She gets all the secret information, and uh, next thing you know, boom, up goes the stock market. Yeah. Nice to get all the inside information off your computer. You don't have to. <laughs> what a way. That's a great deal to make Bernie Sanders and Ruth. Bernie and Ruth were nothing compared to her. In my, I don't mean she's robbing. I'm saying what she gets away with. Straight-laced old Diane. M Miss Curtsy. Miss Curtsy. Curtsy and bow. So here we are, Monday. Mond I have to be careful because I'm going to start drifting into Bernie Sanders on a regular basis. He's too easy. The best was the first one. i got to play the first one. Here is a schmuck, a low life of the lowest order, a Brooklyn commie. I know the type. I used to see them in New York. They couldn't, they, couldn't, they couldn't succeed at anything. If they took a job as a social worker, they got fired for being obstreperous. They'd start fights with everybody and get fired. They couldn't last as a welfare worker in New York in the 1960s. If they're a teacher, they got fired for uh, sleeping with a student, this type. If they were a lawyer, they got disbarred. But, yeah, I mean, they're smart enough to pass the bar, but they get disbarred almost immediately for some kind of cheap trick. If he was an engineer, he'd build a building that would fall down. Yeah, I, you give me an example of Bernie Sanders. I knew the type. The grandfather stood in Union Square on a, on a soapbox, screaming about the wonders of uh, communism, even though he fled Russia. That was something I never understood. They fled Russia, they fled communism, they came and started to espouse communism. Then the spawn is this, a red diaper doper baby. I don't know whether it was the marijuana the summer camps and the communist camps in Poconos, the seltzer. I still think the seltzer has something to do with it. I, if I had the time, i go back to my scientific background. I would do an epidemiological study of the use of seltzer and liberalism and the insanity of liberalism. And I think that the high carbon dioxide, I almost did Bernie, the high, the high the carbon dioxide content 
The little bubbles of carbon dioxide poison the brains of millions of kids in Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. The seltzer bottles. That, that could have been, that could have been, it's like toxic lead. It's like a Dr. Scholl's x-ray machines on the feet, the cancer machines. Did I ever tell you about that? I'm drifting now because I don't want to, I don't want to be too political on this Monday. Most of the audience is not listening today. It's like the restaurant was empty last, <laughs> last night. No, but Sanders is no threat. Come on. It's, it's, it's the, the freak show. They got one out of the freak. They put him in the front. I burn it. Burn when I'm elected. Who's going to vote for this guy? Most people don't even know who I'm talking about by their listening to the show. Even the politically conscious don't know who he is. He hasn't registered 0 0.1 on the Richter scale. Nothing. No, if you stop the average man in the street of Manhattan and say Bernie Sanders, they what? Chicken? Chicken? Uh, McDon Bernie? Bernie? Yeah, yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's. That guy, right? The guy who sells uh, chicken with the white beard. That's Bernie Sanders. They confuse him with uh, Colonel Sanders. Say Bernie Sanders, say Colonel Sanders. I'm telling you, they don't know who he is. <laughs> they don't know who they and then the media is going crazy over this schmuck. I can't believe why, because he espouses their nonsense. Millennials like him. What do they know? Morons. They live in their parents' house in a, in a basement till, till yesterday. Now they're experts on politics. I don't think you should vote till you're 45 in this country. I, I still think you shouldn't vote if you don't pay taxes. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. And a minimum amount of taxes, too. Minimum. A minimum amount. Not a dollar. You know, pay taxes and don't vote. Because you're only going to vote yourself a raise. And then all the other topics I touched on. And there's more. It's only Monday yet. It's a long week ahead of us. Yeah, okay. 855 I told you also about. I don't know what age we're in, Sanders. And I have to summarize the Sanders thing. He's not going to get to the winner's circle on a Democrat side. The Clinton machine will not let him get there. It will be a polonium bagel or an exploding knish. He will not get there. On the campaign trail, it looked like Mexico in the 80s. There'll be an, he's not getting there. It's not going to happen. They're not, they, they've come too far. I've come too far, I tell you. Remember that, that Hillary Clinton speech? Robert, can you pull that one? That one where she talks in tongues? You don't know what accent she's using, like Bayou and Southern Georgia and Northern Vermont. You don't know where she's coming from. I've come too far. She's come too far to almost be the first woman shyster in the White House. That uh, she's not going to let this guy, this usurper, take it away. He's nothing to them. Polonium Kanish, that's the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Over there. Over there. No snow. Californian water source at 500-year low. Where do they get these idiots from to come up with these studies? First, they scared us that the temperature would go up 0.1 degrees centigrade every year. It didn't go up at all overall. So now it's the, the water sources at a 500-year low. Well, if they stop bringing in 30 million illegal aliens a year, maybe the water source would be higher. I think all the toilets have got to be flushed by all of us. So now we had 30 million people to the state from, from Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras. Where's that water coming from? Was it holy water? Pope's going to bring us holy water to make up for it? Oh, I can't wait. He's coming this month. Oh, my God. So it'll be good for goodness sake. I can't wait till I hear that one. Isn't there a big thing this week? Oh, another debate. Another debate on CNN this time. I can't wait to see that one. And who did they choose to, de to moderate it? That, that, that setup schmuck from the failing network. A network like it's a little Bush League network that never got anywhere with nobody on it that ever, anyone ever heard of. They pick him. Why would they pick? Why would the Republicans let this unknown, unrated talk show host be the moderator? Well, I guess it's better than Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck would get up there and cry about an operation he needs or something. I, what's happening with that guy? First, it was the hemorrhoids that boosted the income. Then he was losing his sight or his vision or his hearing. I don't know what happened. Then he left because he couldn't take the uh, eczema. Eczema that broke out because Jesus touched them personally. Now he came back, he's going to raise $10 million to bring in Syrian refugees, even if he breaks the law. How does this go on in this country? How? There's a sucker born every minute, that's how. Okay, let's take a caller. I've been talking here. i got to watch out. I'm falling into the Bernie Sanders. I really, this is bad. Let me worry. I, I'm not ready for a call. Okay, so let's go to clip number eight. I'm going to see if I can do a Sanders. I'm going to take one more shot at the Sanders voice. Eight. Eight, the American eight, eight. people, in my strong view, my are sick and view. tired of establishment tired. politics, of establishment economics. 
And they want a candidate who is prepared.